okay this is actually really awkward because we are just driving out toward the main road from the hotel but uh, the road is blocked by elephants so a huge elephant came by and they decided to cut down trees and uh, block the entire driveway my name is Michael after traveling to over 40 countries 2021 has been a turning point this year, a short notice career break gave me the opportunity to jump on a last minute flight to a childhood dream of mine, Africa. As a kid, I used to be a big animal nerd, spending evenings watching National Geographic and the weekends in my local zoo. This time, I had a rare opportunity to explore a truly untamed and wild continent all by myself. Welcome to my adventure in Kenya, and welcome to Michael Wonder World. Psst. Please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more adventures. Good morning, I'm in Sripu Airport again. I'm super stoked about this trip I'm gonna take right now. If you have seen the title of this YouTube video, you've already known, but uh, I'm going to Nairobi, Kenya. It's actually gonna be my first time ever going to Africa. It's going to be about an eight hour flight. Let's go. Good morning. This is day one in Nairobi, Kenya. This is uh, Vera Hi. from Artwolf Africa Safari. So I've been in contact with Vera for about two, three weeks Please, now. Yeah. Um, and she arranged everything for me. And uh, now she's here in Nairobi giving me a debrief of what's going to happen in the next 10 days. I work with Artwolf Africa Safaris. And whenever you want to do a safari, Kenya, Tanzania, feel free to come through us. I'm ready to embark on my safari journey. So goodbye Nairobi, I'll be back in 10 days. Hello. And this is my friend, Ben Song. Ben Son. Ben Popo. Ben Popo. Ben Popo. So he's okay. gonna be my brother for the next 10 days. Exactly. Gonna have, gonna have fun. Eh? We are gonna have so much fun. Gonna have so much fun. So excited to see all the animals, to have the game drives and spending time with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect guy. I'm gonna make your day. Ben Popo. Where are we now? We are on Tikaru, super highway. Built by the Chinese. Built by the Chinese, yes. <laughs> and uh, we already see people crossing the highways. Yes, just yes, running yes, around. Yes. That's kind of dangerous. It's but dangerous but... because sometimes they are knocked down. Eh? So, Vincent, how long is the drive to Abadal? Three hours. Three hours? Yes, three hours. We're staying in a hotel. I think they have a water hole in front of the hotel. Yes, yes So, yes. there might be some animals coming to drink. Yeah, the animals will come maybe during the evening. Okay. Yeah, you might spot maybe some uh, wattocks, impalas, maybe elephants. Wow. Maybe a leopard can come on the way. A leopard. Yeah. Okay, that would be great. I really want to see a leopard. Yeah. So right now we just arrived at uh, Aberdale National Park. So Benson is going to get the park entrance ticket and uh, I'm going to show you around our safari vehicle. This is a Toyota Land Cruiser. This is enormous. And the company I'm going with is uh, Artwork Africa. The front seat. And in the back you can actually fit eight people here on the roof you can open it up so you can get out and see the game the same thing applies to the roof of the driver seat so right now i just arrived at uh, abadale country club this is where i'm gonna stay they have a couple of buildings here at the entrance is where i'm gonna have lunch and after lunch they're going to transport me to the ark that is a building I'm staying at and they have the water hose there and animals go there to have a drink okay I'm like five minutes into this resort and look what's in front of me a 
after having a lovely lunch at Abadera Country Club, the resort transported me to my lodge, the Ark. During this mini 20-minute game drive, I got my first encounter with the Big Five of Africa. It was simply speechless to be greeted by a giant male African elephant. This was such a calm and elegant creature, with the most beautiful set of tusks I've ever seen. Despite their size, these giants also have a playful personality, although it sort of created some problems for us. Okay, this is actually really awkward because we are just driving out toward the main road from the hotel, but uh, the road is blocked by elephants. So a huge elephant came by and they decided to cut down trees and uh, block the entire driveway. So unfortunately, people from the hotel have to clean this up in order for the car to get through. All right, so I just arrived at the Ark. And uh, in front of my window, look. Four hogs. Hi. Let me show you around. Now what's really interesting is this thing. It's called the buzzer. So what they explained to me was at night, animals might come here outside to drink the water. And if there's one buzzer, it means that uh, there's elephants. Two buzzers means there's a black rhino. And three buzzers means it's a leopard. So I'm definitely gonna turn this on. So let's see what happens. And uh, in this building, there are a couple of viewing options. I'm staying on the top floor, so that's an A deck. And uh, we have a viewing lounge here of the water hole. But Let's explore the rest of the building. This one is a B deck and uh, it's open. In the distance, we just found a more rare species. It's called forest hog. Apparently, they are only here in the highlands of Kenya. There's actually another floor. Let's go check it out. There's a buffalo right behind me. So finally, let's go to the ground floor. There's something quite exciting there called a bunker. So this is a bunker. It's connected to a building. You just open the door here. Oh wow, it even has a desk. If the animals come, we can actually hide out here and look at animals literally on the ground level. So what I didn't realize before coming to Africa is that the national reserves here are all fenced and animals are more or less confined within the perimeters of the national reserves. I'm used to seeing wild animals roaming freely in North America, so this is something I did not expect. However, I realized that it's probably necessary in Africa in order to minimize human-wildlife conflicts. The population in Africa has been increasing at an exponential rate, and both humans and animals need the land to survive. This way might be the only way to keep everyone safe. It looks like it's gonna rain, so let's go outside. Uh, the only place you can actually walk around here is a bridge. And uh, before it starts raining, let's go check out the bridge. This is actually quite amazing. You are literally walking through the jungles. Oh wow, I can hear buffalo. <laughs> so this bridge I'm on, um, you can only come out here before sunset. 
because after sunset even here it's not that safe because in this area there are leopards and uh, when you're out here leopards can literally jump onto the bridge yeah that's how it is and then this is the end of the trail actually so it's actually a pretty short trail but uh, the view is quite good so we're heading back to the compound of the ark now it's raining a little bit it's not a big deal but uh, it's not really good for animal viewing because everywhere there's water so they're not thirsty enough to come to the waterhole but the good thing about the waterhole is it's also a mineral waterhole so what that means is herbivores like uh, warthogs or buffaloes or um, elephants they come here to get the minerals so maybe later tonight we'll be able to see some of those okay hyenas versus buffalo look let's see hyenas one two three hyenas are approaching and the buffalo sees the hyena This was my first time seeing a hyena in real life. What's interesting about Aberdeer National Park is that there are no lions in this forest covered national reserve. So as a result, hyenas are the top predators here. And instead of scavenging, they hunt down major prey, including buffaloes. So unfortunately, there was no animals coming around last night, so we didn't hear any buzzers. Um, but look, buffalo right in front of my window. So today we are going to Samburu. Uh, I'm actually a little bit late, so let's get going. 